Excuse me, sir. Can I sit there? Oh, you want to share? Okay. Is that what we're doing today? <laughs> I spent the last week being rather unhermity for once. Um, as my sister was visiting, not the one that I made the macrame for, a different sister. I have a lot of sisters. She was visiting, so we went all over, saw some lovely naturey areas, ate a lot of food, all good stuff. And this week, I just wanted to sew. The day after she left, I was like, I must sew. I must sew for hours. So. Hi. I know it's been a lot of macrame on the channel lately, but here's the thing. Embroidery takes a really long time. And I kind of have a really big embroidery project going right now. You may have heard of it in a previous video, which I shall link here. Would you like a sneak peek of my progress? Ready? Here you go. Okay, but seriously, if you'd like to follow along, I do post real-time progress updates on the Beauty and the Beast piece on my Instagram. So I've linked that in the description if you wanna see how far I've gotten on it right now, which is not that far. Anyway, it's rather a whole thing to start a second embroidery project when you already have one going. It just, it causes conflicts. And somehow I feel better taking a break from embroidery to do a macrame project just feels different, so macrame. And I've helped myself out here like such a good friend because in my last macrame video, which I will also link here because you know, why not just encourage you to keep leaving this video? His ears are so freaking soft. In that video, I started my project by putting a bunch of cords on a stick and then promptly deciding I did not like the shape of the stick for the design I was doing, I liked it better for something else, which is what I'll be doing today, which is doo -doo -doo -doo, a hot air balloon. I don't know why I act like that's a giant reveal because there's a 100% chance that it's either in the title or the thumbnail of this video that you have just clicked on. So obviously you know that that is what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go get the cord. Oh, snips. So besides having the stick that already has all the cords on it, I also did order all of these brightly colored macrame cords. I wanted to say embroidery floss. I did really hard. Okay, bye. Because in this piece, I'd like to try something that I haven't done before. Why not? I really wanna cast on different colors of cord to be the hot air balloon itself up against sort of the white background of the sky. I have not done that. I mean, I cast on cords whenever I run out, but I've never tried to cast on cords in a different color in a specific spot to do a specific design. Don't really know what I'm doing there or how that will work. We're gonna find out. Other than that, uh, <laughs> I don't, really have anything. I have not made a pattern for this. I basically know what I want it to look like and I have a few ideas, but I am really, really unsure how to make the curve of the hot air balloon itself and how to get like separate pieces on the inside because that's what I'm hoping to do. So my first step here is um, research and design. I'm going to try to figure out what the best knots are for this style that I'm gonna do, and then I'm going to attempt to draw out a pattern. You know how beautiful my macrame patterns are. And then I'll get started. One idea I do already have is that I wanna put some like clouds up behind the hot air balloon, and I really, this may not work, but I really wanna do them with the berry knot so that they have a lot of um, texture and they stand out a lot from the background. I don't know if that's gonna work, but you cannot fail until you try. Philosophy.
So this is the basic idea that I had. Now that I've done some research and, you know, squinted at the screen a lot, a few things that I think will need to change. I don't think that this inward curve is gonna work. So I think it's gonna have to be a more um, simple sort of hot air balloon look where it just kind of comes down flat like that. For the inside, I wanna cast on three different colors and I wanna do it in square knots. That is the goal. I'd like the square knots to be stacked like this so that they actually fill in the curve of the balloon and create a curve here before going into the next color. It would look nice to separate each of the colors with a line all the way down, but I think that would be really hard to achieve. I don't know how I would do it, and I don't think it's necessary. I think just having one color have sort of a hard line and go into the next color will work. However, I don't really know how to get a hard line considering I'm doing square knots. Once I reach the bottom, I do want to be able to pull the cast on cord back across to close this off. All of the colors that I've tied in will need to end here and disappear. So I'll need to cut off the ends and tuck them up behind. So then I should have just white cords coming out of here. I'm kind of hoping to get rid of half of those cords too, or at least enough of them that like it looks like actual cords holding up the basket rather than just like full cords like that. For the basket itself, I think it's gonna be casting on another cord to be the outside of the basket with the horizontal clove hitch. I would love to actually weave the cords inside here. Like you have all of these cords coming out of here and I'd love to just weave them on themselves. The only problem then is like, there's absolutely no way for me to cast on brown. It would just have to be a white basket then. I think I could also do the, the half knot weave that I used for the inside of the coffee cup last time. I think that would work to cast on some brown. So all we have basically figured out here is that I still have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and um, I'm just gonna wing it. We're gonna start with the clouds because those are just gonna be out of the white cord that already is on there and I know how to do that knot and I'm pretty sure this will work out. I do wanna stack them like uneven with each other like this rather than having like rows of berry knots. So we'll see if I can figure that out, but I'm pretty sure that'll work. Time to clear out some space so I can actually work. I'm starting by adding some more cord to the overall piece and thankfully I ordered some more white cord when I ordered the colored cord because I really want them to be like packed on here a little tighter and that worked out well because now I have exactly 100 cords to work with and you know I just love those even numbers. So the reason I like this stick for this design is because the curves here are perfect to like tuck the clouds underneath and then it should perfectly contrast the opposite curve of the top of the hot air balloon. And y'all, I am loving these berry knots as clouds. Look how cute it is. All of my squishing together of cords promptly became useless because I had to spread them back out in order for these knots to work. And I'm not sure that having this many cords squished together like this is gonna help me moving forward either. Foreshadowing. As usual, I was completely winging it in the design here, which means of course that almost immediately the dreaded undoing occurred. I couldn't possibly do something in order to avoid doing the thing I hate doing, could I? No. The first one turned out really well, sort of a traditional cloudish shape, which I like. So on the second one, I tried to make it a different shape and that just um, did not work out at first. Undid a bunch and redid it. And then I was okay with how it turned out. It throws me off a little because it looks so different than the first one, but clouds come in billions of shapes and sizes. So there really is no wrong answer. For the outline of the hot air balloon, I did the horizontal clove hitch, which ties in the new piece of cord. I used a pretty long one because I am not entirely sure where the ends are going to end up. I wanted to make sure the curve at the top was as even as possible, so I used a metal ring that I have on hand for a future project. By hanging it behind the piece and then moving it in front sometimes to check, I could kind of use it as a rough guide for where to go. And I say rough because obviously I did not follow it super well. I also ended up removing four cords from the center of the branch because it was all getting way too packed together. I feel like there's a slight dip here, which I'm not crazy about, but also it's like too small to justify 
messing up the cord to fix it. On the other hand, the second side has the most lovely curve, but ended up like an inch higher at the end than the first one. So I added in several more cords from the right side to get them more even, which is all well and good, except now the entire piece is going to be off a little bit. I'll just have to wait to see what it looks like. So I'm going safe with three colors. I think I'll do pink, blue, and yellow. I started with the square knot pattern I expected to work on this, and uh, pretty promptly, with much less undoing than normal for me, realized that square knots won't work on these side sections because they are too sloped. On the other hand, the clove hitches out of white to separate the colors do seem like they'll work, so I went with vertical clove hitches to fill in the colors and got all the way to here and then had to undo every single bit of it. I'm not kidding. I was thrilled. But I had used a short piece of pink cord on the first row of vertical clove hitches and there wasn't enough for me to pull it back around once we got to the bottom of this balloon, which, my god, I don't even want to think about because I have no freaking idea how that's gonna work. After doing all that, I felt pretty done for the day, but basically this idea should work, at least for the top part. Is there anything more delightful than a bunch of fresh, bright, happy flowers? Okay, I started out with the side panels, and now that I had the proper plan in mind, they turned out way better. Also discovered that doing vertical clove hitch with the pink cord in this direction is exactly the same thing as doing diagonal half hitch with the white cord in this direction. So you know, mind blown. Then I started working on the center again, trying to get all those square knots to look right, and here's the thing, they didn't look bad. I had a pretty good pattern going. It was okay. The main problem was that the cords are already pretty packed into that section and I'm essentially doubling their number by casting on all this blue cord. So I was kind of just running out of room. Then I realized I had skipped a white cord. So while I started undoing knots to go back and fix that, I was looking at the whole thing and you know what? I didn't like it. Big surprise. Originally the whole balloon was supposed to be square knots so that it all went together. But now that the side panels are these packed together clove hitches with no gaps and no white cord showing through, the holy look in the center just doesn't go anymore. So as is now tradition, when I macrame, I undid the entire thing and started over. This time I'm gonna try using clove hitches for the blue cord as well so that it's all uniform. But of course, even with the clove hitches, there was tons of undoing and redoing. What I didn't realize in advance is that this would gather all of my white cords into the center, requiring me to drop every single one of them out behind the piece as I kept building up more lines of blue cord. I also ended up with a separation in the center, and when I started to tie the cords together in the back to close that up, it left this lovely trail of white. I don't know how to get rid of it. So at the moment, I'm just pretending that I don't mind it. Denial. I have spilled so much coffee on this dress today. <laughs> Bye. Do you want to come here? Okay, yeah, you do. I've kind of reached my limit today on this piece. So this is as far as I have gotten today and I think I'm gonna have to just pause on this again and take a break because my brain feels like it's melting. I just keep doing random things and trying new things and like it's kind of working but I've also had to undo so much stuff that didn't work and I still have no idea like what my next step should be. If I was trying to make an umbrella, I'd be doing really well. My little drawing here is so much prettier than the actual piece. I just have to be okay if it's not perfect. I would like if it at least looked like the thing that I'm trying to make it look like. At least my clouds are pretty. I'll always have the clouds. Hey look, there's coffee on my legs still. Is there coffee everywhere today? I bet there is. You know, I already have another macrame project planned. It is not trying to get a design into a flat wall hanging. It is something entirely new. And I think compared to doing this, it'll be so freaking easy. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of thinking like, what if I just tossed this one under a rock and never looked at it again? and moved on to the other one. But part of making these videos is committing to actually finishing a project, even if it's not working out for me. So. 
life lessons, I guess. After glaring at this piece for a significant amount of time, I finally accepted the cold hard fact that I had to undo all of it. It really needs to be going in rows across like this rather than down the sides like I was doing it. <sighs> Les eyes. But it was a beautiful day outside, so I parked myself on the dog bed that I'm currently using as patio furniture and got to work while internally questioning all my life choices. My hope is that this will delete the overabundance of extra cords sticking out of the back. Oh, also, I'm changing colors because one, I didn't like that blue so much once I got it on here, and two, I can't stand looking at it anymore, and three, the ends of most of the pieces are getting really frayed and it just, ugh. I'm just done with it. So we are switching to purple. Purple, it is your time to shine. Well, it's been about 12,000 years, but there's a balloon. So it's a little wonky, but it's basically a balloon shape and the colors are basically in the places they need to go. This is literally the only shape I could get the purple one to make. So the typical like panel shape went out the window, but this is genuinely something I can live with. Had to get creative on the bottom here in order to make the pink and yellow meet and be tied together, but still have a white line down the center. So I used some square knots in the center and tied all the ends of the pink and the yellow cord into it. And then I'll knot those together on the back and it should work. Ish. I finished it off with some horizontal clove hitches and then I'm pressing it under books overnight to flatten out the wonkiness a little. My plan for tomorrow is to wake up at a decent time in the morning and start by getting all the cords on the back accounted for. Like tucked in, tucked up, and cut off out of the way because there are so many of them. I also have to figure out what I'm doing with all these colored cords coming out the sides. I don't know, I think it kind of takes away from the look of the balloon when you have all the colored cords coming out of the side of it because it's like, what is this, streamers? So I'd really like to see if I could get rid of those somehow and maybe even somehow make all the white cords that are on the back magically come out the sides instead. I got really good with the crochet hook today. There was a lot of tucking up and tucking under. Once I got everything tucked up in the back, all gone, all missing, I was able to make the white cords come out the side, which was lovely. It's a really big mess on the back, but that's okay. I no longer really care what the back looks like. Then I cast on another cord with horizontal clove hitch to make the top rim of the basket. And then I cast on some brown cords and just did square knots to make the basket itself, which worked out perfectly fine. So I tucked up all of the extra brown cords into the back of the square knots and tied on another cord into this horizontal clove hitch to just finish off the basket. My shortest cord was pretty short. So I decided to trim the whole thing into a V, which worked out really well. It's kind of, it's, it's long enough in general, it's long enough of fringe. It doesn't lay quite flat because this piece is still a little wonky and all over the place, but I am okay with that. And here is the aftermath. There is quite a lot of extra cord left over. This is all gonna go in giant bags and um, I don't know, at some point I'll use it for something. <sighs> Have I ever been this happy to finish something? Um, Possibly not. I feel disgusting. <laughs> I don't think I've washed my hair in three days, which has absolutely nothing to do with this, but it's part of the reason why I feel so disgusting. I believe a shower is in order in a moment, but I feel like I've been working on this piece for about 20 years. At least I have something to show for it now. 
Hi, do you like it? He wagged his tail, so he approves. Look, next time I decide that I wanna do some frickin' curvy ass design, just tell me no. Tell me don't bother. Make me stop. Uh, <laughs> you do not wanna see the back here. Of course you wanna see the back. Look at the hideous back. What even is that? However, on the front, you can hardly tell. Just kidding, on the front you can tell as well. So let's do my good old, what would I have done better if I had been able to? Uh, so I'm still really pleased with how the clouds turned out. I think these are so cute. It's such a fun way to use berry knots. Yeah, it looks like clouds. It's super cute. I love it. I'm pretty happy that like in the end, I got a solid fill on these. I was originally planning to do square knots for the whole thing and I knew even in my plans that like, obviously that's not gonna be a solid fill. You'll be able to see through it. So it is pretty cool in the end that it's solid of these colors. I'm also very happy that I traded out the blue for purple. And actually the basket turned out pretty much exactly like I wanted it. And I really didn't have to undo anything. Like this was first try, it turned out how I wanted it. So that's a first. But anyway, we were talking about what I would do differently. The edges still look hella janky. On top of that, of course, as I just showed you, the back looks like a mess and it's still a little wonky, not flat. Yeah, so I think the main thing that I really need to figure out if I plan on making another hot air balloon with cast on colors is how to get this kind of curve right here, both on the outside and on the inside, because I would have liked this to go down all the way to the center, like a normal hot air balloon looks. This needs to be thinner right here. I'm also really pleased that I managed to get these holes in here in the end. Like this is what I wanted was just for there to be some amount of gaps in the cords leading to the basket so that it looked like hot air balloon cords instead of being filled in. And I didn't think that was something I would be able to do and I was able to do it. So huzzah for that. So yeah, overall, there's not a lot of stuff that I would do differently other than not doing this at all. This took about five times longer than I expected it to. I have never undone so many knots in my life, which isn't saying much because I've only been doing macrame for like a month. But overall, I'm really pleased that I stuck with it and I came out with something that basically looks like what I wanted it to look like. I think we can all recognize that that is a hot air balloon. I feel like wrapping up these videos is always a little bit underwhelming. It's like, Huzzah, look, I finished the thing. It doesn't look that great, but I'm pleased that I did it. Tootaloo! So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, next time I make macrame, I will not be putting an image into it. I will be going back to the delight that is abstract design. I do have some more macrame projects planned for the future. So if you would like to come back and watch those, please do subscribe if you don't want to. I get it, it's totally fine. And I will see you guys next time with yet another random project.